mean, and that's the thing, of course, we, we've come from a few years of, of not being able to do these kinds of things, so it's fantastic to find a beer and have you, um, but that must have affected you as an actor as well, I can imagine, because, like, jobs are totally different, you know, you, if it continues, uh, you still have to have a lot of rules and regulations that change. Yeah. So, what was that time period for you like as an actor? Well, for me, actually, surprisingly, um, the, the lockdown did, didn't get in the way of work. I did lots of jobs during it, and um, we, we did have due, due diligence and care and wear masks and things like that, but it all seemed, uh, it all seemed very sort of uh, arbitrary. Uh, quite a lot of the time, when someone was taking a picture of the cast and crew, that was the first time on some of the jobs that I saw people put masks on, because it would have been wrong of them to be shouting and spitting sputum over each other um, uh, publicly. But um, for the most part, people just kept a certain amount of distance. But then when you went on and did a scene, you know, you took it all off. I'm very lucky, I haven't, I haven't got it. I haven't had it. Um, and I'm quadruple boosted, but uh, I've got mates of mine who really have been laying low by it, and who haven't worked since it. And you can't go into a room and get castings anymore. Um, you have to do a self-tape, and self-tapes are great. You're presenting them with your version of how you want to do it, but that's not the same as being in a room where someone then says, that's still the case. Yeah. Oh. I've been in the room twice, but the rest of it is all self-tapes. And I don't like that. You don't get to show any personality. They don't know whether you're going to be a pain in the ass to work with. Um, because you can come across like you really know what you're doing and then tell them to be an asshole. They're going to be an asshole. I don't think you are. Though. That way you're getting those to work. You can pretend <laughs> that you're very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they normally would have the chemistry. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The presence, the type of presence, yeah. And of course, Vikings was your, uh, well, I don't want to say big break because you were already doing a lot, but it was like the big show that ultimately put you uh, yeah. as the king, you know, in front of everyone. Uh, but then came this period of lockdown. How did that affect you? Well, yeah, just going back to that, relating it to Vikings. Um, and Jesus, George Blackman is here today. I haven't seen the kid since beginning of season three. And if you look back to eight or nine years ago, the difference in the world and how it has changed in relation to connecting with others and connecting with other people. Vikings and the way film sets had been run was very, like, you could get this close without yeah. looking over your shoulder or being paranoid. And I found that during, shooting during the pandemic, you know, so many rules and regulations and there's a pro and con to everything. And I've always just wanted to connect. And in a weird way, being able to act sort of um, encouraged you to connect with others in a time where people were telling you to stay away from people. So if I got a job, I really, really relished it. I was very grateful for it. But, you know, Valhalla was shooting in, in Ireland in the, in the same locations, uh, different company, uh, totally different time. And the rules and regulations were, you know, how do you shoot a show like that? And, how do you maintain that sort of camaraderie that I got with George and all of the gang? How do you maintain that while you're being told to stay in your bubbles and you're playing Vikings? But there's the era of professionalism. But I just found, uh, I just hope this time lasts where we can all come together now, you know? Because I'm, I'm quite frankly very sick of all of the uh, online stuff and the dis disconnect, you know, we need more connections, more different cultures coming together, there's people from all over, I met people from England, from York, from Scotland, from Germany, from Dusseldorf, from Amsterdam today, you know, long may it last, yeah. you know, that's all we want. Yeah. Exactly, I couldn't agree more. <laughs>